up, Chatham families? How are you doing today? It's a lovely afternoon. Well, there's not too much sun, but um, we're getting warmer. So I'm sure that um, although we are at home, we want to get that stressed and, uh, you know, things out. So we're just going to start with a nice Pilates today. It's going to take us about 45 minutes. You can uh, cut it out um, in half. If you want to do a quick one, I'm going to tell you when more or less we have completed one set and then we have another one just for the, um, you know, hard workers like me. Um, can you see me properly? Let me just maybe bring this a little closer. I don't want to lose you. There you go, maybe. There you go. I think we're good. That's better. Yeah. I can see myself better, so I think you can all see me better. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna give it a, a just a couple minutes. I'm gonna put this, actually it's 58, so we're gonna give it just a very few moments. And in the meantime, if you wanna just go ahead and roll your shoulders and back and out. There you go. We have a lot of core today. All right, just twist it around a few times. You go very good let me grab a shoulder or two there you go nice we're just gonna give a few seconds to see who joins us you can stretch out your hands your elbows your shoulders anything that you need today to do a family workout this is great for kids kids love trying to you know get us the old crowd <laughs> look like very inflexible old people they're pretty strong so I know they like to show off a little all right all right folks it's time let's start one more minute let's go ahead and put ourselves on the knees so you're gonna put your knees at your hip level once you're there you're gonna bring your hands to the back of your head and very slowly we're going to turn to the right so breathe in here and exhale go to the right breathe in when you come back to the center and then exhale go to the left nice and easy we're going to start slow breathe in here exhale to go to the right breathe in and exhale again to go to the left we're going to do that a few more times so breathe in and exhale there we go every time we're going to push those elbows up and make sure we stay perfectly aligned. So open them up and feel your shoulder blades getting together. Breathe in and then exhale to the right. Exhale to the left. There you go. A couple more on each side. So just bring them in and to center. Nice. Now we try to go a little farther away. One. Breathe in. Exhale. Perfect. All right, we're going to stay in the same position. Now we're going to bend to the right. So breathe in and exhale to go to the side. There you go. Breathe in and exhale to go left. Nice. One and two. So we'll start by just warming up the core and the spine really easy. We're not going to go very hard on this for a second. Nice. Very good. Keep bringing your arms out. Pushing those elbows all the way to the back. Exhale when you go low. Now, can you try to go a little closer to the ground? Nice. Feel the stretch on the side. And making sure we stay in the line. And no opening on the hips or twisting on the hips. The hips stay square to the front. And imagine you are in between two walls. There you go. That's the best image we can have. A couple more times. Nice. Now we're gonna try something new. We're gonna stay here and then we're gonna do a back bend on the knees. So very slowly I want you to squeeze your butt and then bring your head backwards slowly, just a little bit, and then come back. So breathe in, go back, and then exhale to go back. Nice. 
you're gonna go back, squeeze the butt, look at the ceiling, and bring it in. You should feel it right in the center of your rectus abdominis. Nice. Yep. A couple more times. Then try to go a little lower. And now squeeze the butt even harder. And bring it back slowly. All right, you can rest the arms. I'm sure they're already tingling. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back into our mat. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you to go into a tabletop position. So the tabletop position is your hands are gonna be on uh, under your shoulders, knees are gonna be under hips. Very good. Now we're gonna open to you're gonna open to me. You're gonna bring your arm up, and then we're gonna go through under the other arm. So front arm is gonna go all the way to the sky, and then we're gonna turn and bring it under the arm. Now keep a bend on your elbow on the support elbow at all times. So we're gonna breathe in here, exhale when we go to the back. Now we'll look at our, our arm all the time. We'll look at our hand and we try to go as far away as possible on one side and then on the other. Always keep a look to your hand because we are also warming up the cervicals. Excellent. Bring it up one more time to the ceiling and we're gonna stay here. Now slowly stay here. Open the arm. Now try to stack your shoulders together. Look at yourself if you can, if you have a mirror. If not, just look where your shoulder is and just try to stack them together. Try to reach the ceiling, feel the stretch on the lats, and then let it go, nice and easy. Whew. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around so you can see, but we basically are gonna do the other arm. So front arm is gonna, oh, what's going on? Oh, there you go. Hi. It was a misconnection in there. All right, so we're gonna try to go all the way up, all the way down. And every time we're gonna try to reach a little further away. Now, I know that your hips want to open, but your job is to control and make sure they stay as squared as possible, looking at the mat, nice and easy. Now look at your hand, go all the way up. Very good. One and two, one and two. Very good, one more. Throw it in and then spare it up, reach to the sky. Now, take advantage of this nice little stretch. Stack your shoulders one on top of the other. Move around if you need to. And just try to reach all the way to the ceiling. There you go. And let it go. Nice. Okay. Shoulders, huh? All right, I'm going to ask you to roll onto your side and come here to a nice elbow and shoulder stand. Now, very important, this shoulder and this elbow are gonna be in a perfect alignment all the time. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get tired and then you're gonna do this. So we're gonna try to avoid this. All this part is gonna be in a nice angle. And the best thing to do is to actually bring that arm all the way to the ceiling. That will actually help you keep the alignment. Now, you're gonna bring your knees 90 degrees to the center. I know, already holding this position. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, huh? What I want you to do is just bring one leg to the center and then back forward. We're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Super easy. Breathe in and breathe out. Now point that toe and then engage your quadriceps here. So every time you're gonna put them away, bring them in. Straight. Now why are we practicing this? Because I want you to practice staying in line was doing another movement. That's all I need you to do. Don't squish it in, bring it up. I know your shoulder wants to flop down. Don't let it flop down, very good. Couple more. And then you're gonna stay extended, stay here with me. Now, bring your chest higher, and we're gonna tap the floor. One, two, three, four. Just tap the floor gently, and try to bring those knees in the same line. Stay with the toes as far away as possible. There you go. Four, three, two, and one. Stay here with me. Now stay away from the floor. You're good? All right. We're gonna just round it, big circle, bring it to the center. Go back, big circle, and bring it to the center. So push it back, and then just circle it forward. Circle back, push it forward. Keep pointing that toe. Keep engaging your quadriceps. Now this guy has to be up, because we are actually working our abs here. So push to the back, bring here, and remember, don't flop. Bring the chest high, 
this guy is in an angle. You're not relying on your shoulder, nor on your elbow to keep a hold of you. You're relying on your abs. Bring those abs to the top. Come more. Ooh, yeah. You can definitely feel it already. One and two. Stay here and relax. Nice. You like that? All right, we're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna switch around, making sure we stay perfect line. Again, we're gonna bring that elbow and that shoulder together. Now we're gonna bring the knees 90 degrees to the front and extend open the chest as much as we can. Nice and easy. Now, flick it to the front and come back. Flick it to the front and come back. Now what you do with this, I want you to think about your lower abs here. Your nice little plank. You're sort of training your body to get into the perfect plank later on. You know, planks are my favorite, so yeah, they're coming, they're coming. All right, nice and easy. Extend it to the front. Make sure you engage your quadriceps at all time. Nice and easy. You should already be feeling it on your side glutes. Very good. A couple more. Nice. And we're going to leave it to the front. Stop here. Good? Tap it to the front. One, two, three. Now, remember, don't flop your shoulder. And if you need to adjust, that's absolutely fine. Just keep looking at the ceiling. Keep trying to reach all the way to the sky. This is the most important pain part of your intention. Bring it in, four, three, two, stay up, nice. Now we're gonna round it to the floor, and then bring it back, there you go. Round it to the floor, oh yeah, look, it's a circle, ha. Huh. There you go, bring it to the back, and it's a circle to the front, there you go. Nice and easy, Woo. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in, and exhale. Keep going up with that shoulder, and that elbow, don't let it go, nice and easy. Go three more. So to the back, all the way to the center. To the back, all the way to the center. One more. Stay there with me. And bring it back slowly. Ah, nice. All right. We've earned the right to go on our backs. Now you're gonna be on your back. Really easy. Whew. This is good. All right, folks. I want you to bring your legs 90 degrees here. So. The most important part here is that you're gonna bring your knees on top of your hips and you're gonna let them align there at all times. Now remember this curve that um, we always have here, a lumbar curve? We're gonna try to erase it. And how we erase it? Yes, we bring the belly button in and we bring the pelvis to the front, making sure the tailbone goes all the way to the sky. Once you're here and you've erased this curve, you're gonna put your hands down. And what I want you to do is just step one heel and then the other. Super easy. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's all I need you to do for now. Nice and easy. Tap it, tap it. Now the most important part is to control your movement. Your movement doesn't start with your knee. It starts with your hip. Now you're gonna try to push that heel away and make sure you go a little further this time. You still come back to the 90 degrees, and if you need to put your hands here just to control your legs for wanting to do this, because it's easier, push them away, and just try to go a little further again with those heels. Nice and easy, very good. Now can we go even further? Can we stretch those legs? Remember, you're maintaining that lumbar curve in existence, so you're still pressing that belly button down, you're still tilting your pelvis forward, and you're still trying to bring that table to the ceiling. Come on, we go four. We go three, nice and easy. We go two, one more, and bring them down. Woo! All right, we got this. Now, we're gonna, instead of doing one, let's press the one, two. All right, so we're gonna bring those legs again, 90 degrees. And if you want to, you can keep going with level one, just tap one. If you want level two, we're gonna tap both heels and come back. Both heels, come back. Both heels, come back. Again, remember you're trying to push that lumbar curve all the way to the ceiling. So you are bringing the belly button all the way in, trying to keep that tailbone all the way to the ceiling. Exhale when you come back. Inhale down, exhale when you come back. We go four, we go three, we go two more again. One and two, 
bring it up and bring it down. Nice. All right, not bad at all. We're gonna roll again to the side. Very good. Now we're gonna keep our arm at length. We're gonna just stay on our arm if you wanna stay here with me, nice and easy. And you're gonna extend those legs. You can see me there, perfect. All right, so the most important part here is gonna be maintaining the L-leg, and I know that you know we wanna roll forward or back. The best way to avoid that is to actually bring the belly button in and squeeze in the butt. So if your core is tight, then the rest of your body should follow. You're gonna bring that hand all the way to the ceiling. And what I want you to do, and I am, is open and close, nice and easy. One and two, one and two. Excellent, breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale, very good. Now we're gonna try to go a little higher. Remember, the most important part is to keep the alignment on the core. I don't care too much about how long and how open your leg is. I want you to start to move with your hip and maintaining your core in perfect alignment and braced at all times. Nice and easy. There you go, four, three. Couple more, gang. One, and we're gonna stop at the top, stay here. There you go, Stow or stay with me. Remember those little circles? We're gonna go circles to the back. Now be very careful. Your body wants to move, don't let it. It's just the leg, it's just the leg. It's a little movement. It's a little movement. Breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Control, control, control. It's all about the control. Stay with me. We go four, we go three, we go two, and stay with me. <laughs> now bring them down, circle to the front, and then back again. Remember that circle we're doing? We're gonna do the opposite. So down, bend, extend to the front, and now open wide. Oh my goodness. Down, bend the knee towards your chest, extend the knee to the front, and then roll your leg all the way to the back. How hard it is. <laughs> bring it in. Knee, extend, and bring it back. Nice and easy. Down, bend, <sighs> exhale here. And try to come up all the way to the top. Nice. We got two more, apart from this one. <laughs> so bring it in, go to the side. Yeah, big turn. One, two, and bring it back. Nice. Whew. Nice and easy. All right, gang. You're good with that? We got the other side. How you guys doing? You need a sip of water? Take it whenever. Mmm. I got mine. All right, so we're gonna go all the way to the mat. Again, remember your head is gonna be lying there. Legs are extended. And we're just gonna keep extending that body. All right, once you got your alignment, I think I did something silly to my music. Oh no, it's good. All right, nice. All right, so. Best thing is to keep the arm alignment. Uh, this actually helps me a lot, but you don't have to. You can put your hand in here, or you can just extend it a little more if you need more um, more support. If not, just come with me. Open and close. Open and close. Nice and easy. So remember, your body wants to move around. The best way to keep it down and in perfect shape is to actually use both legs. If you're thinking that we're only working with this one, uh-uh. We're also working with this one. This one is gonna help stabilize the rest. So make sure you go up and down. Try to open as much as you can. But the main thing is to keep that body alive. Keep squeezing that butt and keep bringing that belly button in. Nice and easy. Couple more. And we're gonna stay up. Here, circles to the back. Little circles, little circles. I want you to feel your the head of your femur going, circling around your hip. This is excellent for any hip problems that you want to do. Oiling that joint is one of the most important things we can do. Nice. Now, keep reaching to the sky. Keep reaching with that leg. Nice and easy. Four, three, two. Stay up. Now bring it down. Bring the knee to the chest, extend the leg, and bring it up. All in line to go. Knee in, extend, 
bring everything back. Ooh, one, two. Outside of the glute and hip flexors. Yes. Bring it up nice and easy. Chest, extend all the way back. Halfway again. One, two, three, and four. Four more. One, two, open it wide. Nice. One, two, couple more, and we're done. One, two, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. One last one. One, two, and bring it in. Whoo! All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one's tough. This one's tough. All right, gang. Now. I'm gonna put the telephone a little further away so you can see better for our next exercise. Nice. All right. Okay. Nice and easy. I think you can see better there. <laughs> All right, gang. So, our next exercise is gonna happen on the belly. We're gonna be here on the belly, making sure there's nothing behind us so we don't kick anything in. Where's the water? There you go. <laughs> Arms are gonna be by the side, and then you're gonna extend all the way to the center. I don't think if you can see from there. There you go. Okay. I want you to bring your legs a little bit away from the floor. And just imagine you are swimming and you're kicking in. Now we're gonna to try to keep the feet as close to each other. Just the feet. For now, you're looking at your mat, keeping that neck alignment, and making sure nothing else moves except your a little fitzy. So heels are up, toes are pointed, and I want you to just go a little faster. Just a little faster. Nice and easy. Squeeze the butt and feel the work of the lower back. We go five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and done. Very good. Nice and easy. All right, now the legs are done. We're gonna do the arms. The arms look like this. Exactly the same thing that we're doing with the, with the heels, but we're gonna do the same with the heels of the hand. So, extend it, look at your mat, and we're gonna bring them away from the floor just a little bit. One and two, keep breathing. One and two, nice and easy. We're not touching the ground. We're trying to bring the arms as close to the ears as possible. Now a little faster. Try to go a little faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lay it down. All right, rest just for 15 seconds. Once you got it, both at the same time. What? Oh, okay. so I'm gonna go on the side so you can see. Now times, are you ready to go? Yep, see, that's what happens when you put things in the back. There you go. <laughs> All right, gang. Go with me. Both arms and legs. And now, try to go and build the rhythm. Squeeze that butt, keep those legs together, keep those hands together. Bring the hands a little higher with your shoulders, not with your hands. The hands are not moving, it's your shoulders. Shoulders, legs. Ready? Let's go faster. Let's go faster. 15 seconds, as fast as you can. As fast as you can. There you go. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right. Oh, nice and easy. Whew. Very good. Drink some water, and we're gonna move to our next set. So if you want a short workout, you will finish with the next set, and then if you want to do a longer workout, just stay with us, and we'll do it like that. All right, gang. This is kind of a little bit of a Modified Pilates yoga style. So we're gonna start in what we call a downward dog. So you're gonna bring your hip all the way to the ceiling and your heels are gonna to try to go down. So this is the position that you want. You wanna bring your head in between your arms, bring the belly button in, bend those knees slightly and try to bring your forehead to your head. Okay, from this position, and I'm gonna go my back to the center so you can see properly. Once you're here, I want you to use your right leg and shoot it all the way to the sky. All right, what's your option? Your option is doing it on the knee. If you're doing with 
the same with me, you can definitely do it at the top. Now I want you to tap the toe on the back and then bring the leg up. Tap the toe and bring it back. There you go, tap the toe, bring it back. Seven more times, all the way here. Now you're pushing the floor with your hands. You're keeping a little bend on the elbow and you're trying to balance in one leg. There you go. While using your lower back and your glute to bring that leg out. Couple more. Nice. And leave it out of the way to the top. Leave it here. Now we're gonna open to the side and come back. Open to the side and come back. Again, your option is to do it here on the knee. Perfectly fine to do that on the knee. If not, if you're with me, you're here. Trying to push the heel down on the support leg and trying to push the other heel at the top outwards. There you go. Seven, eight, nine. Keep the belly button in. It's 10, stay all the way up. You're good? Now, I want you to bring your body forward. You're here, knee to the chest, all the way up. Knee to the chest, all the way up. And when you bring your knee to the chest, I want you to round your spine and then extend your spine. Roll it in, extend fully. Roll it in, look at your knee, and then extend fully. There you go. Exhale here, inhale, extending. Exhale, reach. Four more again, four. All the way. Nice, two more, one last one. Stay, and bring it down, knees down, bring it back, nice and easy. All right, gang, leg number two. So again, we started in a nice downward dog position or under the e-tabletop, whatever you wish to do. Now left leg all the way to the ceiling. You're good with that? Very good. Just tap the toe and bring it up. Tap the toe, bring it up. You're trying to squeeze the glutes as much as possible. You're still trying to bend the support knee and trying to bring your forehead all the way to your support knee. Very good. And five. Now push the leg to the top. Six. Keep pushing the belly button in, pulling the belly button in. Nice. Three more. Three, two. Stay with me at the top. Stay. All right. Open and close open and close. Now your side, your one side is going to be challenged more than the other. Try to extend the leg a little more and try to push the heel on the floor a little deeper into the ground to stabilize. Nice. Five more. Open wide. Don't let anything else move. Three more. Exhale when you push. Two. One more. Stay up. Nice and easy. Now move your body forward. Bring the knee into the chest. Squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. Very good. Now everything extends. Everything, guys. Your leg, your spine, your neck, your head, your eyelashes extend. Push it all the way to the outside. Nice and easy. That's six, seven. Come on, eight. Very good. Nine, one more game. Bring it down to the knees. Nice. All right, child's pose just to rest for a few moments. Now you can start pulling down if you want to, or you can follow with me to the second set. So the second set has a lot more planks. Whew, a lot more planks. Believe me, you're gonna love this. Take a sip of water and then bear with me to the floor. Nice and easy. Okay, guys. Remember that side position we were talking about earlier? So again, perfect alignment on the shoulder and the elbow. You're gonna bring your legs to 90 degrees again. And this time, we're gonna go up with the hip one and two. So we're using two legs together. This is strange and somewhat doable, right? It's kind of funny just to have both legs help you out to bring the hip up. Nice and easy. No worries, it's not gonna last forever. <laughs> you know that, right? Five more, try to reach the sky. 
but not with your hand, with your hip. There you go. Now try to bring this hip all the way to the ceiling. There you go. Seven. Three more. Two more. One last one. Bring it up. Nice. Very good. All right. Shake it up if you need to. Just a few. Roll of the shoulder back into position. 90 degrees to the front and then extend the upper leg. You're good with that? All right. Bring it up. One. Two. We have a lot of planks now. Three. Very good. All the way to the ceiling. Four. Bring it up higher. Five. Chest is open and high. Very good. Seven. Keep the alignment. Eight. Two more. Look at your hand. One more. And bring it to the top. Nice. Very good. Again, roll your shoulder. Just give it a little shake. Back into position. You're good with this? Perfect. Now we're going to bring that leg from 90 degrees to the front, 90 degrees to the back. Now this is perfectly aligned with your shoulder and your hip and also your heel on the other side here. So we're going to go up with one hip and then we're going to add on a leg. What? Up with the hip, add on a the leg. There you go. One hip goes up, then one leg. We're building up our nice little series. Four. All the way to the top. Five. Excellent. Very good. Seven. Three more. Now remember the alignment on the shoulder and on the elbow. Very good. Two more. One and two. Perfect. One last one. Boom. Done. All right. Shake it out. Now is where things are starting to get interesting. We're gonna keep the alignment here. We're gonna extend both legs. All right. You good with that? We're gonna scissor the legs. One leg's gonna go to the back, one leg's gonna be to the front. They don't need to be that separated, I'm just showing you. So stay within your match. We're gonna use both legs extended and hips are gonna go up. Just stay there with me. Nothing else. One. There you go. Two. What's your option? Keep on bending that leg and stay with this level. No worries. And five, excellent. Keep pushing this hip up. Bring it as long as you can. Imagine somebody had a harness and it's pulling you to the ceiling. There you go. Four, three more again. Three, two last ones. One and two. Bring it down, shake it off. All right, so before we go up a level, we're gonna do it on the other side. Why? because our probably our shoulder and elbow need to rest, so that's absolutely fine. So stay here with me. You're gonna start by bringing both legs to the front, 90 degrees to the front, remember? Extend that out, and remember, try to keep those guys in the perfect alignment. One, two, very good. Three, make sure your hip stays off the floor. Five, try to grab something that is in the ceiling. Bring everything as far as possible all the way to the sky. Two more to finish. One and two. Perfect. Whew, nice. All right, little shoulder roll. Bring it back. Now extend the upper leg, just that. Front leg stays to the, ceiling, to the front. Let's go, one, two. So building up the strain and letting our body know so we're climbing all the way to a master series, to a master set. There you go. Six, seven, very good. Try to go a little higher this time. Eight, a couple more to finish this. One and two, very good. Whew. All right, no bad at all. Nice and easy. All right, gang. We're gonna push this leg to the back. So we said, it was perfectly aligned with the front and the upper leg space extended. This is the one we add on a leg. So we go up here and then we add a leg. Nice and easy. One and two. Very good. One and two. Still working on that neck alignment, that shoulder and elbow alignment. There we go. Five, six, four more. Keep it up. 
two more again. High as a kite. One more to finish this. Very good. All right, roll it in. Now we have the scissor legs. So we keep the alignment here, but we have scissor legs. One in front of the other. And this is, we're gonna use both, and we're gonna come up. Are you ready? Let's go, one, two, very good. Now keep pushing that butt all the way to the front. Three, four. It's very easy to try to hunch here. No, no, keep opening. There you go. Five, five more. And if you need to use your knee, that's absolutely fine. All right? Seven, eight, two more. Nine and ten. Nice. All right. Four and four. We're even. Now we're going to start on the other side. We stay on level four. Now we're going to do five. So I want you to bring your elbow in perfectly aligned. Everything's good here. Legs. Remember the scissor that we had? All right. So the scissor's going to stay, correct? And you're going to bring your front scissor a little closer to your body because I want your upper leg to go up and open. And then bring it to the ceiling. So it's basically like a nice little brush. And imagine you're painting all this, but you're going to be high in the sky. Are you ready to go with me? All right, gang, bring it up. Scissor first. You're good with that? Bring the knee up. Extend the leg. Brush it down. Bring it in. Up with the leg, brush it down, stay in the plank, in, out, brush it. Oh yeah. One more. And then we have a pause. One more, gang. Brush it. That's five. You like that? All right, we're gonna do five more. <laughs> All right, stay here, bring it up, and knee in, out, brush it down in, out, brush it down. Very good, three more. Stay with the plane, stay with me, come on. Two more. We're done, we're done with one. And bring it down. I love level five. All right, yep, you guessed it. They're gonna see the same on the other side. So, bring it in. Remember, your scissor from the front is gonna stay a little closer to the body so you can stay perfectly aligned. And when you're ready, bring it up. You good with that? All right, knee in, extend, brush it in. Bring it in, extend, brush it down. Keep squeezing that butt. Brush it down, two more. Bring it in, breathe out now, bring it down. That's five. We'll go five more again. Are you ready? All right, bring it up. Coming up, and knee, extend, brush it in. Knee, extend, brush it down. Three more. Come on, keep pushing that belly button in. That hip all the way to the ceiling. And bring it down. Oh, turn it down. All right, take a sip of water. How you guys doing? You can tell me, you can comment and tell me how bad this is. <laughs> how you guys doing? Good. All right, gang. A little sip of water. And we're in for our final, our final plank. Okay, I'm gonna turn this mat to the center so you can see it properly. Just like that. This starts standing up. Okay, remember the ones that were bringing the leg up? We got some more, some more of those. So we're gonna start off with the arms here. And then we're just gonna bring everything down, round to the back. Then we're just gonna bring the hands all the way to the front. We're gonna do one extension, two extensions. Then the right leg is gonna start again with a nice little rolling in, rolling in, very good. Then you're gonna turn to the side. And from here, we're gonna lift the leg, bring it in, roll it back, roll to the other side, and then bring the leg up. Push it here, and from here, we're just gonna bring our broken plank forward, Backwards, forward again, and then we're gonna stay 10 seconds. We got all that five times. So, yep, make sure you dry, everything dryable. You good with that? 
All right, we're not gonna give in. We're gonna do this straight on. No pause, arms up. Big breath in and exhale, roll it down. Walk forward. Stay here with me, nice and easy. Right leg all the way to the sky. Left leg. Now, right leg joins in and squeeze it. Extend. Left leg, squeeze it. Extend. Now roll to the right. Stay on the high plank. Stay here with me, scissor your legs. And upper leg, up and down. Turn it back, other side. Open wide and bring it up. Woohoo! Bring it in, stay here. Now go forward, go backwards. Go forward and stay 10, 9, 8. Option is to do everything of this on the knees. Three, two, all right. Bring it back, walk it. All right up. That's one. <laughs> Breathe in, roll all the way down, walk it forward. Very good, stay here. Now, right leg all the way to the sky, left leg. Now, right leg, squeeze it in. Exhale, inhale, and again, left leg. Exhale, inhale, now twist to the right. All the way, stay on the alignment. Open the leg, bring it up. Turn back, turn it again, and Bring the leg up, nice and easy. Bring it back here, roll forward, roll backwards. Roll forward, stay, 10, nine, eight. Bend those elbows. Stay with the shoulders up, maintain the neck alignment. Look six feet away from you. Three, two, one, roll it back. Walk it all the way to the sky. No pause this time, let's roll. Down, walk it forward, nice. Right leg, left leg. Right leg in, extend. Left leg in, very good, to the side. Aye, 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 those shoulders, bring it up. One, roll it backwards, other side, bring it up. Nice, put it down, rock forward, backwards. Stay forward, eight, seven, remember the alignment. Look at it, all perfect. Squeeze that butt, three, two, One, walk it backwards, come on. Roll it up, squeeze, inhale, exhale, and roll down. We've got two more again, come on. Whew. Nice, very good, stay here. Now, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right side, push it up, other side, nice, very good, Whew. perfect. Roll forward, roll backwards, roll forwards. Nothing, nothing moves. Five, four, three, two, bring it back. Did we say we have two more left? No, now we have two more left. There you go, somebody scaled it for me, right? Thank you. You know that's why I'm in fitness. I don't know how to count. Very good, squeeze it in. Extend, squeeze it in. Extend to the side, roll it. And you can put your knee here and extend your leg. This is all your option. Everything, remember, can be done on the knees if you need to. Bring it back, stay on the knees if you need to. Forward, backward, forward, stay, 10, nine. As long as you're in alignment, I don't mind if you use your knees. Use them if you need to, all right? Okay, perfect. Three, two. One, back back. The last one again. Breathe in and breathe out. Come on. Very good. Right leg. Left leg. High as a cat. Right leg in. Extend. Left leg in. Extend. Right side. Open wide. Open that support leg and bring out the right leg. Now the left. Nice. Bring it to the center. Roll it forward, roll it backwards, and stay with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Squeeze, squeeze everything that's squeezable. 3, 2, 1 and a half. 1, and down. Roll it backwards. All right, nice job. All right, guys, drink a little water. Time to stretch a little. All right, we're gonna stay on the mat, knees, 
parallel to each other. I want you to open the chest. I remember those back bends we did in the warm up. We're gonna try to do the same with the arms extended. Nice and easy. Very good. You can look to the back. Hover. Bring it back slowly. Now, let's move to one side. Whichever you want. You want to turn to the right. That's perfectly fine. Stretch those sides that were so challenged today. Nice and easy. Bring it back slowly. Other side. Exhale when you do this. Nice. Now, C shape your arm and try to go a little further away. Bring it back slowly. There you go. One more back bend. Now, squeeze that butt. Bring the pelvis to the front and let your head fall back. Open the arms. Feel the stretch on the pecs, on the abs. Squeeze that butt. Bring it back slowly. Now, put your hands down and round your back. I want you to push the floor, round your back, chin to the chest. Here on the other side. Nice. Stay with your arch back. Stay there with me. Very good. Now, open your right leg to the side. And then open your right arm to the ceiling. Nice and easy. You get this? Now, bring your butt all the way down until you feel the stretch on your inner leg and your lats. Very good. Keep stretching back. And if you can, drop until your butt touches your heel. Now open wide. Very good. Bring it down slowly. Other side. So we start high. Open the left leg. All the way to the side. Very good. Now open to the side. This is great. And if you need to readjust, that's absolutely fine. Move around. Now sit there until you can put your forearm down or your butt on your heel. Whatever happens first. Or now I just stay here with me. It doesn't matter. Very good. Bring it back slowly. Excellent. Now you can sit to the front. Both legs are extended here. And I'm going to round my back. Grab as long as you can go. So if you can grab your ankles, perfect. If not, your shins is fine. Or your knees, whatever you need to. Just bring your knee. Your legs are extended. And your head. As low as you can go, chin all the way into the chest. Nice. Deep breath in and then pull a little more. Exhale. Very good. Bring it back slowly. Nice and easy. And we're gonna twist to one side. So make sure you bring your shoulders, your whole torso all the way to the back. One leg. One hand is going to stay on the leg, one hand is going to stay at the back. Look over your shoulder. And extend those arms up. Switch sides. Nice and easy. Look all the way to the back. Very good. Bring it back slowly. And then roll with your legs in. Nice and easy. Hands on the way. All the way to the back of your head. Remember that from the warm up. Now we're gonna go to the back and kind of like in a 45 degree angle. Just twist to the back, follow that gaze all the way. See if you can see your heels. Bring them in. And then other side, 45 degrees to the back. Excellent. Bring it in and hands down. Push your hips up, slowly walk back, and slowly roll it up all the way, vertebra, vertebra, super easy, bring it back. Nice, roll the shoulders back, big breath in, hands on the way to the sky, and let it go. And we're done for today. I hope you guys liked it, a lot of core, a lot of legs and glutes, you know, that I don't go shy on exercising those. So if you need anything, uh, you want to let us know anything, you can always comment below or you can write to us, you know, where to reach us. We miss you. We hope um, you stay safe and healthy 
and we hope to see you again very soon. All right, guys, have a good uh, end of Sunday. Is it Sunday? Yeah, it's a Sunday. <laughs> have a good one. Bye-bye.